Hello, my name is Brian Cable. I'm an LPN nurse here at Medical Care and uh, just going to try and go through taking a blood pressure at home. Uh, a blood pressure is something that's very important for you to maintain uh, for your everyday health. I know sometimes we can't get into the doctor's office and uh, a lot of times getting to the pharmacy nowadays you just don't you want to avoid those types of situations so we're going to try and show you how you can do that at home so that you can maintain uh, a blood pressure that is healthy for everyday living one out of every three Americans have high blood pressure uh, and so one thing that we can do is to make sure that we're keeping an eye on that and if it gets to the level that we see is above 120 over 80 consistently that is something that you'll need to talk to your physician about. Before you start, you'll want to sit down, make sure that you've been sitting for at least five minutes uh, so that your blood pressure will regulate on its own. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you are flat sitting with your back against the seat, uh, your feet flat on the ground. Uh, the arm that you're going to be taking the blood pressure in, you'll want to make sure that it's at heart level. You want to make sure and wait 30 minutes after eating. Uh, anything caffeine wise uh, that is going to change the outcome of the blood pressure so at least wait 30 minutes after you eat before you take your blood pressure what you'll do is after you sit you're going to take your cuff make sure that you have a cuff that is uh, going to be fitting your arm uh, the way it needs to you don't want it to be too loose you don't want it to be too tight uh, you will want to make sure that you are on the skin you don't want any uh, clothing that will be uh, impeding the blood pressure cuff uh, so you'll make sure to put that against the skin. You will have a tube coming out of your cuff. You want to make sure that it is center of your arm and then you're just going to tighten up your cuff to where you can have two fingers that goes in between. This way that uh, it's not uh, loose enough that it's sliding off your arm or not tight enough uh, that it's going to uh, pinch your arm. Uh, and this is very important too for the reading. Uh, once you get that to a point that it is where it needs to be, uh, you'll just hit your button, that'll turn it on, and this will start taking the blood pressure. If you notice, I did not speak during the blood pressure. Uh, it is very important that you don't talk as well uh, during a conversation. It can uh, increase your blood pressure, uh, so make sure uh, that you're sitting quietly and still as you take your blood pressure. One important part of taking your blood pressure is making sure that you're logging it. Uh, this way you can take it to your physician's appointments and also you can see every day how it's trending. Uh, also make sure that when you are taking your blood pressure that you're taking it at the same time every day. Uh, this way that you're making sure from day to day uh, that your blood pressure is either going high or low. So when you log it you want to make sure that you're writing down the date, the time, uh, what your blood pressure reading is, uh, and if you're on any medications or if you've done anything strenuous leading up to that point. Also, we will be including a link uh, at the bottom of this video. If you'll just click on that link, it will take you to a printable uh, blood pressure log uh, so that it'll be able to help you keep track of your blood pressures. Again, we hope this helps you and uh, we appreciate you tuning into our videos. Thank you.